Hey all, hope you are good. Welcome to my channel Srivarlo Coding. In today's video, we are gonna see how we can use Databricks CLI to communicate with uh, Databricks cluster. So let's begin. So first, in order to communicate with uh, Databricks cluster, we need to install uh, several libraries. So the the uh, we will first install uh, Databricks CLI. So when you install your Databricks CLI, uh, will get installed. And in order to connect with cluster, we need to use Databricks configure. Databricks configure. So it will ask for your um, Databricks host. So Databricks host is your, just your URL. Okay, so I'm gonna provide it press enter it will ask for your username so you can view your username from here you can go to setting and go to user setting and then uh, no 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 you can go uh, setting and then admin console yeah so this is your username i will copy it and paste it then it will ask for password so give your databricks password So, as you can see, my connection to Databricks uh, cluster has been successful. Now, let's check whether uh, uh, our connection is correct or not. We can use uh, Databricks FS LS. So, it will list down all the folders which are present inside data. So, as you can see, inside DBFS, you can see these two folders. So, these are available here. Okay. So, Okay, then we can also uh, see the uh, cluster information using or you can use Databricks H to find all the uh, commands that are available here. We can view the cluster, we can configure. So we can use configure to connect, uh, configure host and authentication for the CLI. You can use FS, we can use groups, instance pool, job, library, pipelines. We can get all the information. So we will first see the clusters so just copy it and again write hyphen h so it will automatically show the func uh, the function available we can create delete edit get list all the uh, clusters then list node types list zone permanently delete resize restart and spark version so first see whatever the spark version uh, spark clusters that are available here okay so here you can see we have only one cl uh, spark cluster running which name is demo and you can view from here also compute inside it we can here see only one cluster is the RM. Okay, and to get more information about this, we can use uh, uh, Databricks cluster get and then let's use the help. It says the cluster ID. Okay, uh, just copy paste and let's use the cluster ID from here. This is the cluster ID press enter you will get all the information about the cluster so uh, when we'll scroll up you will see uh, this is our instance id this was a, a star timestamp this is the private ip okay this is my star, spark context id my cluster name my spark version okay when i will go inside it you can see all the information present we it is created inside us west to be zone availability is on demand okay and several other information okay we can also get the information about the load types okay so let's press hyphen h 
and copy this yeah so when you will uh, run this uh, list node types it will provide provide a description that it is community open database so that i'm using the community uh, version of databricks so it's showing this okay so the instance type id is i3 large okay local disk is one and local disk size is 475 uh, gb okay is hidden false is cache enabled false okay now let's see uh, uh, let's see all the um, commands that are available data bricks fs hyphen h okay here we can see we can use uh, copy to copy files to and from dbfs ls mkdirs create the directories ls stands for list all the files mb this means move the file from one part to another and then come the rm part so now let's create a folder uh, use mkdirs okay and let's give the path so like dbfs okay I have, let's me let me copy the path from here only okay otherwise it's tedious to copy okay and then paste here and let's give all data sets so when you will run this command you will see a uh, folders uh, is created if you can list uh, ls inside it list all the files inside it using databricks fs ls and then this so you can see all data sets folder is being created here okay now let's see one thing now let's copy a path uh, uh, copy a file from our local to um, to dbfs path okay we will use cp and provide a this path okay and then the name of a file okay then dot csv so what i am doing i am copying my file which is present at this part to our all dataset folder that we have created okay so the command successful now let's again ls all data sets so you can see our file has been uh, successfully copied to this path okay in order to remove or delete um, delete a file we can use rm uh, and then the file path um, all gel is delete the folder only okay you can write hyphen r and then this path okay so as you can see when you will again ls inside it you can see that folder uh, this folder does not exist and it will show an error okay you can see the no file or directory exists at this part now again now let's see other command databricks uh, facilities that are available here you can see workspace okay utility to interact with databricks workspace so we can use Databricks workspace hyphen h to see what are the commands available here. So here you can see we can delete an uh, notebook. 
delete the workspace from here export a file from database workspace export the whole directory we can import a file or import the whole directory okay we can list down also list and ls are same okay now let's use first ls to see all the folders you can see we have users and shared folder inside it okay let's see what's inside users you can see uh, your username will be present here so let me again use this and here inside which we will see all our notebooks okay in order now let's export one notebook so we will use databricks workspace and then export okay so we need to provide the path so let me copy this press slash let's export this only so this is the path of our uh, notebook which is present inside workspace now we need to give the path where we want to copy our uh, notebook or export our notebook okay so this is our path we will i even write hyphen o that will overwrite if the existing notebook is being present in our local and then we will provide the format hyphen hyphen format we will provide jupyter okay it's successful and here you can see your notebook has been downloaded here okay we can even export a notebook from there using Uh, click on file export and then select the options available here okay we can even export uh, the whole directory using export dir command okay so we can write export underscore dir and then provide hyphen h let's see what option it's taking uh so it takes the source path and the target path okay and it exports a directory from your databricks workspace okay so use that only so let me copy the path okay this is our source path and let's provide the target path so this is our target path and we will hi write hyphen o if a if a any notebook is being present there it will get overwritten and press enter okay so here you can see all our notebooks is being downloaded from your workspace to your local so in this video we have seen how we can interact with databricks using databricks cli so hope you enjoyed the video kindly like and subscribe to my channel have a nice day